All right, hi. Um, I want to talk about how to make a classroom video using OBS Studio. And I'm going to go quick on how to download, how to set it up, and how to make a quick video. And I'm going to go fast because I like that you can stop and pause and redo it. All right. So, um, sorry, I'm already on my page, but I'm just going to go quick search for OBS Studio. And OBS Studio, I can't even remember what OBS stands for, but it uh, goes here. Uh, open broadcasting software that makes sense and I'm gonna go download it I'm gonna choose whether I'm on Windows or OS 10 and it's gonna download if I'm in Chrome it's gonna download down to the bottom if I'm in Firefox it'll download somewhere else it doesn't actually matter where I'm downloading it to in this case once it's finished I'll install it and get it all set up and ready to go now I'm not gonna install it right now because Obviously, I already have it installed, but it's a very useful software to use. Now, I have a bunch of my little videos there to go. So, let's start it up for the first time. Now, my OBS Studio is going to look a little different because I have a, some things already set up in it. You'll have one thing down here that says scenes, and you'll need to add things to that scene to start it. So I have two scenes that I already use, and I'm going to make a new one just for the example of this. And the way that they people typically use this is they use this to stream video games, they use this to stream whatever they're showing or whatever they're talking about. So I've decided what do I want in this stream? What do I want to be recording? So I need to choose my sources. I'm typically going to choose two sources, uh, an audio source and a video source. So I'm going to choose, first I'll choose my audio input and I'm going to create a new one. It doesn't really matter what it's called. And then I need to choose which one that I want. Now, if you notice, I have three because I have my microphone and I have two webcams plugged in. But if you're using your typical computer, you'll see an integrated webcam choice or an integrated probably maybe an integrated webcam, that's the one you want to choose, and that's going to be what's going to be recording your audio. In fact, you can even probably see this jumping up and down as it's recording what I'm talking. So, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I've got my audio input. My next thing is I'm going to want to create a video capture device, because I somehow want to create the video that I've got. I'm going to again create a new, and I'm going to choose which video device I want. Now, mine is not going to work exactly in this case because I'm already recording on a separate version running. So you can see this is what I'm currently recording. I'll put that back down again. And once I have these two things set up, my audio and my video, this setup right here should start to show what you're seeing. Once you've got that set up, this is the piece that you're going to be using. And you just push this button over here to start recording and it talks. It's really cool and it's very easy to use. Some settings you might use are you might change where it typically goes to save what you're working on. So I set my output as uh, if I go to settings, output, I can choose whatever recording path I want to go on. And I choose a spot that I'm going to be able to save all my videos to. In fact, that's what you saw here. This is all the videos that I've made so far this year only sorted by date uh, annoyingly but it's still useful that I can go in and see what I'm doing I really like this software it's incredibly easy to use and as you get going you can make the quality better you can add or remove different things let me show you a couple of cool things that I do now I'm gonna flip back to my typical setup um, and show you kind of what I'm currently using to record another option that I can choose for my video capture device if I add a new one, I can choose, oh wait, no, it's not in there. It's I can choose my display capture and that's gonna show what I currently have on my display. Now, right now it's gonna show this giant infinite mirror thing because it's recording what I'm recording within my recording. But without that, when I'm just typically recording, it won't show those things. Um, so if I go back to my original one, I can also see that I have other scenes set up and I can use my separate camera that I have over here. Let me show you my little, uh, I've got my microphone right there and my webcam set up to show my documents. When you see my typical videos when I'm recording my math lectures, that's the setup and this is how I typically use to build it. Um, that should be enough to get you going if you still get stuck somewhere. Uh, just let me know and I'll do the best that I can to help you out. Uh, good luck.